All right, stream. I'll be playing a new game of Dead Island. I'm gonna go with her again because that's my favorite. father was a very great man. A chief and oh no. No. My father was a very great man. A chief inspector for the New Hong game. Kong police. Even though he died when I was ten, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wo Xing Wo Triad. And I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer spy on wealthy westerners my father would not be proud of me this work dishonors his memory but i will do as they ask for i am a patriot but i know i am capable of much much more i just need the opportunity to prove myself all right guys if you don't know this game is dead island okay it's a really fun game i've played it way many times i played this one so many times before on my old account on my old YouTube, and I died, and I got mad at the game and stopped playing it for a couple months. Actually, I stopped playing it for a year. And since I have, uh, what's it called? A definite or the defiant edition, I get all this cool stuff, so. <coughs> yeah, that's how it works. Alright, so. To make my life easier so I can do missions easier, I'm gonna be doing every single side quest there is. FTW, okay. Maybe there's something inside. Maybe. Set up. But the reason why I was playing this game again is because I wanted to play it again and I got a PS4 Pro, so graphics are going to be a lot more thick and nice looking. If I had a better TV, it would be way better, but it's okay. <clears throat> Hello.
Maybe there's something useful. I would move too, but like I'm gonna get some. to look. I'm doing it. No! Didn't oh, my body tell you? Now stop! Wait! Hey! Can you hear me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Nod your head! Nod your bloody head! I ain't asking you again. Oh, thank God. I'm a doctor, not a bloody executioner. Sweet man, Jesus. Do you know how close we came to bashing your head in? Those things came for us. Sinemoy went out to kill them. Why won't anyone help him? Help him! You going out there? Are you nuts? You're not gonna help him. Get the hell out of the way. You at least have a weapon? You need to find a weapon. Please! He's the only one who did this. All right. This is fucking crazy. On three. One. Two, fuck it, three!
That's the last one? Okay, then. Thanks, mates. We were just attacked. Listen, your friend from the hotel's awake. You were right about him being immune to this thing. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have made it. Maybe now we can hold out until help arrives. There is no help. This thing can't be stopped. I saw how it took my wife. You need to get out of there, and I can help you. I can arrange for transportation. By air, by sea, but first you need to get here. To me. I have many sick and injured here, mate. They're crazy with fear. Tell me where you are. Where are you? You there, mate? Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it. I found you. You were beat up pretty bad. Okay. We didn't think you got. Name's John Cinnamore. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio, but he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? All right. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room. With all the commotion, I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. Alright, I do not remember him saying half this stuff. I want Fury. So I can go piss off at people. This is the end of days. Judgment day. <sighs> Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. Gotta be a fucking nightmare. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Why the hell did I stay here with Cinemoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? I'll see what I can do. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, <laughs> where the hell else am I gonna go? of revelations. open this up. Thank <laughs> you. 
okay. I don't remember the game being like this. Oh my god! This is Roger Howard on a special assignment on the island of Banoi. I'm investigating illegal logging and clear cutting that's not only damaging the ecosystem here, but costing the people of Banoi billions. I've been told that my life might be in danger as those behind this illegal activity will stop at nothing to protect a criminal enterprise. As a precaution, I will be leaving a trail of recordings wherever I go so that if something were to happen to me, the truth would still be told. I'm leaving now to meet with an informant who I believe could rip the lid off of this investigation. I told you to stay away. Why wouldn't you listen to me?
down. Beautiful. For a moment, you can almost forget. Thank God we found you. No you did it? All right. Thanks to you, we might all just make it. I didn't see you out there. We are not safe here, mate. Okay, ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Of course. Take the beach. It's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Jesus Christ, if you hadn't come along. You, you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. There's a table inside you can use to repair your weapons. some rest. I'll get some damage. Oh my god. 